Think about how much money has passed through your hands throughout your entire life. Every time you receive a salary, spend money, or get some payment, that money goes through your hands. Now consider how much of that money is still with you today. Let's break it down. Maybe you made $32,000 last year, and now you're 30. Suppose you received your first payment of $80 at 17. Add up all the money you've earned from then until now. It might total $300,000, $500,000, $500,000, or even more. But how much of that money is left in your wallet today? You probably haven't thought much about it, but it's worth considering because the answer might surprise you. In a a single year, the average person spends tens of thousands of dollars on essentials like food, accommodation, and transportation. Over your lifetime, this amounts to hundreds of thousands of dollars, not including money spent on non-essentials like clothes, entertainment, and vacations. So are you satisfied with the amount of money you have left? If not, it's time to adopt some new money habits that can change your life in the next six months. In this video, I'm going to share with you 20 rules of money that can help you live a comfortable life within the next six months. Master these rules and you'll find yourself on the path to financial success. Keep watching by the end of this video, you'll have all the tools you need to transform your financial life. Rule one, don't let anyone know you have money. In the age of capitalism, social status is often defined by how much money you have. While it might be tempting to boast about your earnings, it's crucial to keep your financial success private. When people know you have money, they may start asking for favors or loans, putting you in difficult situations. I speak from experience boasting about money can feel good in the moment, but it comes with a high price later on. Maintaining humility and appreciating what you have without drawing attention to it will help you avoid jealousy and resentment from others, allowing you to focus on growing your wealth. Rule 2. Invest time before investing money. People often think they need money to make more money, but time is an invaluable asset. Spend time learning about personal finances, investments, and budgeting. This knowledge will help you make better financial decisions and avoid costly mistakes. Even if you're already financially savvy, dedicating time to learning about new investment opportunities can help you grow your assets. Sometimes it makes sense to invest money instead of time, such as hiring a professional for a complex job. However, generally investing time to learn before putting your money into something unfamiliar is a wise decision. If you want to dive deeper into personal finances, investments, and business, check out the links in the description below for recommended books. These resources will speed up your journey to creating wealth. Rule 3. Money is a game. Money is like a game where the more you play, the better you get. Even if you're not great with money now, you can improve by learning and practicing the rules. Just as in chess, where you must learn the basic rules before developing a winning strategy, you need to understand the fundamentals of money management. One basic rule is that you need to save before you can spend or invest. Once you grasp these essentials, you can start developing your own strategies to win the money game. Rule 4. Money won't solve your insecurities. It might be hard to hear, but money won't solve your insecurities. You might believe that an expensive car or a bigger house will make you feel better, but these material possessions won't buy self-esteem or happiness. If you constantly compare yourself to others and feel inadequate, no amount of money will change that. The only way to overcome insecurities is to work on them directly. Accept who you are and learn to love yourself. Otherwise, you'll end up chasing an endless cycle of material possessions that will never truly satisfy you. Comment below if you agree that money cannot buy self-esteem or happiness, and share any insights that might help others. Rule 5. The more you learn, the more you earn. In today's competitive society, it's crucial to learn skills that add value to your life. Jobs are scarce, and competition is fierce. You need to learn things that truly benefit you. The good news is that you don't need to spend a lot of money to acquire valuable skills. There are many free courses online that can teach you everything from basic computer science to advanced topics like web design, business accounting, or finance. Valuable books like The Richest Man in Babylon or Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill are also great resources. Remember, every experience is an opportunity to grow and expand your knowledge. The more you learn, the more you can earn and offer to others. If you're enjoying these money tips, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Rule 6. Befriend those who make money. If you want to make money, surround yourself with people who already know how to do it. Learning from those with experience and success in the financial world can significantly increase your chances of achieving your own goals. Don't be afraid to connect with people who seem to know what they're doing when it comes to money. This could be the first step toward your financial success. Rule 7. Wealth is created during crises. The Great Recession of 2008 was a difficult time for many, with people losing jobs, homes, and life savings. However, crises also present opportunities. Smart investors can buy shares at bargain prices when the stock market collapses. When the market recovers, these investments can yield significant profits. Some of the greatest wealth creations occur during economic downturns. Rule 8. Expenses increase as you age. As you get older, your expenses will likely grow, whether due to inflation or refined taste. We all want to improve our lives, leading to higher spending each year. It's essential to be aware of this trend and take precautions. If your income doesn't keep up with your increasing expenses, it will be challenging to move forward and break the cycle. Rule 
Rule 9. Don't fly first class. Many people spend thousands on first class flights when they could spend much less on economy class. Is it worth it? Consider the following if you travel 8 times a year, spending $2,000 on each first class flight totals $16,000 annually. Investing that money in a business or education could yield much higher returns. Of course, it's your choice how to spend your money. But remember, thinking long term can lead to greater rewards. Rule 10. Study your politicians. If you want to save more money, understand the financial policies of the politicians you vote for. Many people don't take the time to research financial proposals, which can be a costly mistake. Your vote should be based on more than party affiliation. Be aware of how their policies might affect your finances. Rule 11. Money is a game of life. Money is a lifelong game. No matter how much you save or how wisely you invest, there will always be more to win and more to lose. Forget about the idea of reaching a final goal. While you can automate some tasks and reduce work hours, the game of money has no end. Look at the world's richest people they continue to work even when they don't have to. The good news is that money doesn't have to be a source of stress or anxiety. With the right mindset, it can be quite enjoyable. Think of it as a challenge to conquer rather than an enemy to defeat. Rule 12. Wealth accumulates over time. Wealth does not happen overnight it takes time to accumulate. Just as you cannot grow a tree instantly you cannot build wealth quickly. You need patience and consistency to see results. For example Warren Buffett, considered one of the best investors of all time, began investing at the age of 11, buying his first shares at $38 per share. Today his net worth exceeds $108 billion. If you had started investing just $100 when Buffett was 11 years old, you would likely have a substantial amount today thanks to the power of capitalization. By reinvesting dividends and letting compound interest work its magic over the decades, you could have amassed over a million dollars. So if you want to accumulate wealth, start investing as soon as possible and let the power of compounding work for you. Rule 13. Do not let your money get bored. Money is like a muscle if you don't use it, it weakens. To keep your money strong, you need to put it to work regularly. If you leave $100 in a savings account untouched for 10 years, it will lose value due to inflation and rising living costs. However, if you invest that $100 in a business or other opportunities, you could see significant returns over time. The moral of the story? Don't let your your money sit idle. Keep a portion for emergencies, but invest the rest to protect it from inflation and grow your wealth. Rule 14. Focus on your finances, not on comparisons. It's easy to feel jealous when your friend buys a new car while you're still driving an old one, but comparing yourself to others can lead to impulsive decisions and financial stress. Instead, focus on your own financial situation and what will help you achieve your goals. Everyone's financial journey is different, so stay focused on yours. Rule 15. Money is neutral. Some people believe that money is the root of all evil, but money itself is neutral. It has no more moral value, it's how people use it that determines its impact. Money amplifies what a person already is. A kind and generous person will use money to do good deeds, while a selfish person will use it to further their own interests. Remember, money is just a tool, it's the person using it who determines its value. Rule 16. How money flows. Money flows towards those who know how to handle it. If you create something valuable that people want, money will flow to you. For example, if you develop an app that saves people time and money, they will be willing to pay for it. Focus on creating value, and money Money will follow. Rule 17. Start saving little by little. Chris Reining, a famous investor and writer, retired at 37 as a millionaire thanks to his smart saving habits. His advice is to start small. Cut small expenses like a $5 coffee. These small changes can lead to significant savings over time. Once you've mastered small savings, larger changes will seem less daunting. Rule 18. Control yourself. Personal finance isn't just about math, it's about self-control. Emotions can lead to bad financial decisions. Fear might make you sell stocks during a market crash. While greed might lead you to buy overvalued stock. The inability to control emotions causes most financial problems. It's not just about making more money, it's about managing what you have, and that starts with self-control. Rule 19. Spend less than you earn. This may seem obvious, but many people don't follow it. They think they can always make more money and end up spending more than they earn. This can lead to debt and financial problems. If you're struggling to make ends meet, consider ways to increase your income. But if you already have a good income and want to save, spending less is the way to go. Rule 20. Learn a unique skill. In a world where so many things are mass-produced, rare or difficult to acquire skills are usually more valuable. Learning something that not many people know how to do can increase your value and make you indispensable. For example, learning to code or becoming an Excel expert can make you more valuable to employers or potential partners. Today, being fluent in more than one language is also highly valued, so consider this option. Do not underestimate the power of learning something new. It could be the key to unlocking greater opportunities in your career or personal life. If this video has been helpful, start analyzing which of these 20 rules you already follow and which ones you need to work on. Begin making the necessary adjustments, and remember, being rich is not just a state of mind, it can also be your reality. Follow these rules of money, and you will be on your way to becoming rich. If you want to learn how to achieve financial success, watch this next video. And if you've made it to this point, like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.